Hi, I'm Bill, and I'm an Eclipse Chaser. Celestron has instructions, and you can follow it in the hand controller for polar aligning this scope using several stars. I tried that twice, and it just didn't seem to be working. I already had a pole master, so I decided that if I could use that pole master to begin the aligning process, things would go much more smoothly. The only place it looked like I could use was this nameplate, which appeared to be on the axis of the mount. And so that is exactly what I did. So first I'm going to remove the upper carrying handle by removing four screws that hold it in place. Okay, I've now removed the four screws that hold on the upper carrying handle, and I can remove that. Next, we need to remove the four screws that hold the nameplate in place. Okay, and now we can remove the nameplate. I purchased the pole master and I bought an adapter to work on a Vixen mount. So I'm going to have to adapt this now to work on the Celestron mount. I drilled and tapped a hole in the back of the adapter and I'm going to use that now to attach to the Celestron mount. I had an engineering company 3D print an adapter made to fit the Celestron mount. And I'm going to attach, now I'm going to attach the pole master with its adapter to this new piece. I use a, a screw to hold the pole master in place. This was 3D printed, so it will only go one way on the Celestron mount. And I reused the screws that I took out from the nameplate now to hold the pole master and its new adapter in place. And we're finished. Now the rest of this is used just as a normal pole master would be used on any other mount. We used it last night and we were able to align the mount with the uh, center of rotation in the northern hemisphere. Now we're just going to reverse the whole process to put the mount back in its original state. Since I've got it polar aligned, I don't need to do this again. I just need to check in the future that it is still polar aligned.